Hi, it's Anna Mason. Long a favourite with painters, sunflowers are some of the most gorgeous and evocative flowers out there. But their yellow petals and complex centres can make them a massive challenge when aiming for a realistic result in watercolour. So in this video, I wanted to show you how I went about painting this gorgeous glowing sunflower. I began with a drawing which outlined the edges of the petals as well as the darker shapes of colour within them. And I also drew in plenty of the detail I could see in the flower centre. I started the painting by blocking in the lightest yellow to the petals with a wash and popping in the spots of it that I could see within the flower centre. Next, I applied the lightest browns to the flower centre, applying my paint with a stippling technique to recreate the rough texture present there, and changing the colours in my mix a little to reflect the different shades of brown I could see. Next, I used a smaller brush to mark in the very darkest areas of the flower centre with a fairly watery, paler version of the black colour. I did this rather than working with thick black paint straight away in order to make it easier to correct a mistake if I made one and because even within the black parts of the flower centre there was some texture present so having this pale layer down first meant that I could leave some little gaps through to it when I went on to apply the thicker dark mix on top. This created some tonal variation which is what gives the impression of texture. Oh, and crucially, I only ever apply the next layer once the one underneath is dry. With the darkest tones painted, I could make some tonal adjustments, darkening up the mid-tones with another layer, and then the darkest tones with another layer. With the flower centre painted, it made judging how dark to take the petals easier. Next, I painted the darkest tones in the petals, followed by the darker mid-tones. The key to getting this looking right is to have plenty of orange in your mix and not too much grey because the blue that's present in grey would end up mixing with the yellow in the petals to make the darkest tones look green, not what we want in a sunflower. Next, I brought the petals together by adding another bright yellow layer to the mid-tones to darken them some more. Finally, I made some tonal adjustments to the petals before adding a further level of detail to the centre and making some more tonal adjustments to the whole piece until the flower was finished. A full video class of this sunflower showing you the detailed mixes I used throughout is available now in my online school. And there's also a step-by-step -step project of it featured in my new book, Anna Mason's Watercolour World. If you've enjoyed this tip video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to take one of my tried and tested video classes for free, skip over to animationart.com where you'll find tons of resources to help you pick up your brush and paint the way you've always wanted to. Remember, you won't improve your painting unless you make the time to paint, so be sure to schedule in some me time this week and paint something you love. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another tip for creating watercolours with WOW.